Good day guys. Um today we will be discussing model 4 top down model. The top down model is simply what it sounds like. This is a model where you do a top down analysis and enter off the lower time frame confirmations. This type of analysis takes you from external range liquidity to internal range liquidity. Now, what I'm saying here is that top down model when you do your top down top down analysis you do from monthly time frame down to 15 minutes 5 minutes time from where you enter from from the one month time frame to weekly daily four hours time frame is the higher time frame there any liquidity we spot on there is the external range liquidity it can be liquidity it can be um, a high it can be a low it can be a favorable gap it can be an other block it can be any pdra right on lower time frame it always have another view now on weekly time frame we see this as a favorable gap but on lower time frame what do we see it as it is that we see it as relatively equal lows that needs to get taken out so this is a chart example between external range liquidity and internal range liquidity now the entry criteria for a top-down analysis is first understand where the drawn liquidity on the higher time frame is. If you understand where the drawn liquidity is, you mark out your drawn liquidity. You have a clear drawn liquidity you are trading towards, then then you can start you can start the trade off. Do a top-down analysis to see the order flow towards the drawn liquidity from higher time frame to lower time frame. You do a top-down analysis. You do an you follow the institutional order flow to you get your entry to trade towards the drawn liquidity. The third criteria is waiting for a Q zone. So you have to wait for a Q zone for execution because Q zones are where the expansions happen, they are where distribution happens, they are where you get out of consolidation and then you expand, they are where the reversals occur. So you wait for a Q zone before execution. During the Q zone, trade lower time frame order flow towards your entry. So what you do here is once you're in the queue zone, you trade from one hour, 15 minutes, five minutes, one minute time frame. You trade it towards your drawn liquidity. If your drawn liquidity is on one minute or if, if your drawn liquidity is on four hour time frame, you can find an entry on one minute time frame and enter towards it. Your drawn liquidity on daily time frame, you can enter on five minutes time frame and trade towards it. It can be, it can be a, a four hour drawn liquidity and you use the 15 minutes time frame to find an entry to trade towards it as far as you have your drawn liquidity on the higher time frame you find your entries or entry criteria in any of these queues on um, any of these um, time frames the one hour time frame the 15 minutes time frame the five minutes time frame the one minute time frame you can check any of the time frames to find an entry that will take you to the drawing liquidity on forward time frame on daily time frame on weekly time frame monthly time frame now here is an example on daily time frame we have a bearish trend a bearish order flow and price tagged a daily favorable gap after i tagged that daily favorable gap what is it doing after I tag a daily favorable gap, it's supposed to take us to this equal lows. I mean, or oh, this low down here, a daily time frame low. So that's our drawn liquidity. And on five minutes time frame or on an hour time frame, that's what happened. So on an hour time frame, we tag the um daily favorable gap here. After we tagged it, we had a high, a low. A lower high a lower low so yeah we had our market structure shift after our market structure shift we had a favor league up to enter with so that's our first entry after it entered with the favor league up or oh, that's our second entry after this total to soup obviously so that was our second entry then we had this breaker that price used but i would like to wait for this favor league up so i'll consider it my first entry right so i went out with this favor league up then my second entry would, would be this breaker I see a breaker price was going up down up down then it's filled to to take price back up so it is a bearish breaker because the fear filled other block so now after it tagged the bearish breaker it sold downwards and took out sell side liquidity now the sell side liquidity it took out was that of the one year
So it took out the CSI liquidity down here. After it took out that CSI liquidity, you can see it had the other flow downwards and took out that CSI liquidity. So the CSI liquidity down here on the daily time frame is what we took out on one hour time frame. Now another example that we have is on our time frame, right? We had the bearing shoulder flow on our time frame. Then we had smooth edges, sell side liquidity down here, and price just tagged a bearish order block. Why is why are we using this other block? Because because price had a total soup, then first entry is the other block. So yeah, that's basically why we're using the other block. So price traded, price went down. Price went down, retraced into it, and it's going to sell downwards, right? So, what's, what's going to be our entry criteria? We're following the normal entry criteria. We are we are bearish. We tag the bearish PDRE, and we want to sell downwards to take out sell side liquidity, right? So, we have our drawn liquidity, and we have a um, higher time frame point of interest that we tagged that is going to take us down. Now, what are we going to do on higher time frame, on lower time frame? On 5 minute time frame, after the bearish order block got tagged, we had a market structure sheet down here. So, price did this sweep, market structure shift downwards. It retraced back into it, then sold from there. So, so it was a simple setup, right? Price tagged the I had um, one hour time frame bearish order block. We had a market structure sheet. Price tag the favor league up and it sold. So, yeah, that's basically it for today, guys. Um, it's a very, very straightforward model. You should take a look at the PDFs or um, examples that are going to be laid out on my Twitter, on my Discord for more. Um, coverage or for a live example of how to trade the models on this channel please drop a like sub and share i'll catch you guys on the next one bye